Hello and welcome to the Lenovo and OCF sponsored Leco tutorial. It is the first of the five part tutorial looking at the background of AI and high performance computing, HPC, and their synergy, and later we will discuss Leco's existence and usage. The AI revolution is being driven by the following three key factors. Firstly, a tsunami of data generated every second by sensors, mobile phones, vehicles, and more. Secondly, the large data leads to complex models, or neural networks, to solve complex problems. And finally, the availability of compute accelerators to offer unprecedented compute density and increasing performance. These three factors, in effect, push each other towards greater research. In fact, they are both the solution and the source of many different challenges in AI. Since the beginning of the progress in AI in 2012, Neural networks were growing at a dramatic pace, but recently the growth has been exponential. So why is that? We have learned that one main reason is a relation between the size of a neural network and its performance. Bigger models not only perform better, but they also learn faster. However, everything comes at a price. In fact, to train these bigger models, we also need bigger datasets. Indeed, there is a tight relationship between the size of the dataset and the performance of the model which is defined by the power law you can see depicted in this plot. It means that if a customer wants to build a proof of concept using a medium scale dataset, a small model using very little compute resource can be achieved easily. But if they want to go beyond a proof of concept, increasing performance from, let's say, 70% to 90%, they need to stretch out the data available, the modeling technique, and the compute needed, which will come at a price. HPC and AI have always been seen as two different worlds, both addressing solutions to different problems. Interestingly, there are a lot of similarities in hardware infrastructure, such as the use of GPUs, network compute nodes, and large storage, but they are managed distinctly in terms of using different tool sets for management, orchestration, and development frameworks. HPC, on one hand, has invested in schedulers, such as Slurm-based HPC infrastructures, and they are expanding rapidly into using deep learning to solve business and technology problems. Therefore, enterprises are looking to find solutions to provide AI model development on top of their existing HPC infrastructure. However, on the other hand, AI is using deep learning methodologies using stable Kubernetes containers and has become the de facto platform to run AI workloads at scale. Lenovo has developed LECO, or Lenovo Intelligent Computing Orchestration, a software for both HPC and AI users. HPC users can benefit from AI capabilities without having to compromise with existing infrastructure Meanwhile, AI users can benefit from HPC applications. Leco comes in two versions, the HPC version and the Kubernetes version. It's important to note that they provide the same user experience whether they're on an HPC cluster or Kubernetes cluster. Leco provides a simple, easy to use interface which makes accessing compute resources easy for AI development and training. We leverage open source orchestration underneath Leco to get workloads onto compute systems quickly and spend most of our development efforts adding value to AI frameworks management layer, workflows, and job management. In a nutshell, Leco adds value to the infrastructure by reducing the total cost of ownership and allowing multiple AI users or projects to run on the same infrastructure and making it more efficient. Some of the great features of Leco are the ability to deploy and manage containers and the ease of use with AI templates that need no coding experience. For advanced users, there are Jupyter notebooks and custom code which are explored in the following tutorials.